wanted to do a makeup tutorial for you. I know I haven't really been posting videos. I've been like extremely busy, like extremely busy. Um, I go to school Monday through Wednesday, and then Thursdays I don't really have off because I'm I'm working during that day, and then Friday I actually work um as a cheer coach now. So um, I don't really have time. I do have time on weekends like here and there, but it's usually I spend time with friends or I'm doing homework that's due the next week. So, um, I don't really have much time to film videos, and I'm wearing this big t-shirt just because I'm lounging. It's Sunday, don't judge me. I'm gonna be getting ready for the day. I got requested on my Instagram by Courtney to, um, do this eyeshadow look. I'll enter a picture here so you guys can see it. And sorry if I'm, like, talking weird, um, I'm really sick, like, Ever since I made that one video, uh, like a while ago on my YouTube, um, I haven't gotten rid of my cough, and it's just gone really bad, and it's like settling into my chest, and it's just terrible. So sorry if like my voice is really annoying in this video. This look that I did on my Instagram, I made it with this palette. It's the 26 color um, neutral eyeshadow and blush palette by BH Cosmetics, and I'll just show you what it looks like. You guys can see it gonna try to recreate it I don't know if I remember exactly how I did it so um, I'm just gonna try to recreate it and this palette was like only like 12 bucks I'm pretty sure it's around that price I'm really suck at remembering prices but I wouldn't have bought this if it was so expensive because you know me so, so cheap the quality of the eyeshadow I would say is definitely good for the price um I wouldn't say like the pigmentation though is like that great. Look. I think this is going to be like a talk through tutorial. Um, I never really do them, but I just feel like I should. So this video might be long, but hey, if you're bored, you have nothing to do. You can just watch me. First, I'm going to start off with this NYX um, concealer in a jar, and it's in the color porcelain. It's super white. And I'm just going to put that. I know it's concealer. You guys are probably like, why are you putting concealer on your eyes? Because it just there's all the veins in your eyes, and just gives a good, like, starting point for your eyeshadow so you have a huge pimple right here i wanted to do a video on how to like make your pimples the pants of your pimple smaller because i feel like the way that i do it works really well next i'm going to be taking this 24 hour um color tattoo and barely branded by maybelline and um i'm just gonna put that right over the concealer <laughs> sorry if you guys can't really see i'm filming with my freaking my iphone because i don't have a camera the only thing that I didn't use from this palette was just like a cream shade or a white shade. I'm going to be using a white shade. Um, this is just the Wild Child palette. Oh great, and the eyeshadow fell out. This is the Wild Child palette um, from BH Cosmetics. This was pretty cheap. I think it was like 6 bucks. So any white or any cream color you want to use, go ahead. And I'm just going to put that all over just to set that concealer and the primer for my eyelid. You don't want your eyeshadows to crease. Just put this right here. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is actually use the palette now. <laughs> Using like this fluffy um, shade. Why can I not think? Fluffy shader brush. Blending brush. Sorry. I'm going to pick up this color right here. It's like a light orange-ish color. And I'm going to put that in my crease. It's the third, second row from the top, third one over. So yeah, I'm just using um, windshield wiper motions and going back and forth. Just get that color in there. If you're wondering if my hair looks different, I did it ombre. Next color I'm going to grab is this color right below it. And it's a little bit more of a coppery orange. I'm just going to place that on my inner corner of my eye and go halfway onto my lid. And then I'm going to stop. So just halfway. And then do it to the other eye. I'm just going to wipe off this brush 
I'm going to use it again for this, the color right next to it, which is this color, which is a little bit darker and a little more on the purple side, and it's even more coppery than this orangey color. So I'm going to pick that one up and then place it on the outer lid. I'm going to pick up, um, uh, to be honest, I like using the blush of this color the, rather than the eyeshadow because I feel like the blush is a little more pigmented. So I'm going to use the blush to do my outer V and just really darken up the eye. And I know rules of makeup. No one says you can't use blush as an eyeshadow. So I'm just going to blend that in. Just really darken up the eyeshadow. I'm just going to go back in with that big fluffy brush and just blend it out. There are no harsh lines. There's one color, one gold color in the palette, and it's this one right here. And I'm just going to pick it up with my finger to really get that color on. And just put it in the very center of my eyelid. Just to really make that color pop. I do it on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see it. Now I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm just using a re regular black eyeliner, my mascara. Um, I'm going to do my foundation, and then I'm going to show you guys the blush and the bronzer and everything that I use on my face. So I'll see you guys in a second. Now that I am done with my foundation, I'm going to move on to bronzer. <clears throat> you guys all know that pretty much any bronzer that I use is going to be the NYC Sunny Bronzer. Um, I just feel like it goes really well with my face color. I found one that I like better than this one, so. And then I'm just using a Real Techniques foundation brush. Um, I just feel like it makes the bronzer look good on my face. So, what I'm going to do? I'm just going to bronze up my face. I put it on my temples. And then on my jawline. And then kind of blend it down into my neck so it doesn't look uneven. And then just kind of going over my face a little bit to bronze it up. Back into this palette, 138, I don't know, I have no idea, but it's just this MAC blush brush. I'm just going to go in first with um, this pinky blush in the very middle. And I'm going to put that on the apples of my cheeks. So right on the apples. And these are very pigmented. And then I'm going to take this darker shade right next to it. And then I'm going to blend it in with that first pink color that we put on our cheeks. On our apples of our cheeks. I'm just going to blend it back. And a little on my temples just to match the skin. So next, I'm going to do the lower lash line. This is also a MAC brush, but I don't know the number because it rubbed off. The first color that I'm going to take is this orange coppery color right here. I'm going to put my finger on it so you guys can see it. Use that and just put it all underneath my eye, uh, lash line. I suck at explaining things right now. I'm going to connect it to the eyeshadow that's out here. Then I'm going to go in with that purple. This purple with the blush. I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my eye. Just to darken it. And I'm going to stop about halfway. I'm going to go in with that gold that I picked up and put up on the middle of my eyelid. And I'm going to put that in the first half of my eyelid on the bottom. Our first... Oh my god! I know my brain is not working. The first half... On my lower lash line. There we go. Just do this extra step. You don't have to if you don't want to. But I'm going to go in with this white shade that I used in the very, very beginning. And I'm going to pick that up and just put it in the inner corner of my eye. It just brightens up your face and brightens up your eyeshadow a lot, I feel like. So that's what I'm going to do. And then you also can't forget to put mascara on the lower lash line. I make a weird face when I do put on mascara. I'm going to be using... 
MAC Hue lipstick. It's just like a nude. Isn't it really pretty? And then I'm going to be using Max Dazzle Glass in Moth to Flame. It's just another nude. I'm going to use the Hard Candy um, highlighter. This fan brush. I'm just going to go down the bridge of my nose. On the top of my lips. A little on my forehead. And then on my cheeks. I think... We're done. I think that's how I did it last time, I'm pretty sure. Um, if it's a little bit different this time, then sorry. I only did it once, so I don't really remember exactly how I did it. If I wanted to darken it up a little bit, I would use a brown. Like, yeah, there's a brown in here. I would use this dark brown over here, and I would just get that same brush that we were using. Cause I don't know, I like browns and I like dark eyeshadow, you guys probably know that. So if I had to like lighten it up, I mean lighten it up, darken it up, I would just put a little bit of brown on the outside and just blend it in. I'm not sure if I put brown in it last time, but who knows. So I hope you guys liked this video. Um, I did do it because it was requested, um, but there are so many videos that I want to film. Um, because I just have been so busy, I like haven't gotten around to it. Um, one of the videos is I definitely want to do an updated foundation routine for my oily skin girls because I actually found some foundation that I can wear all day long without having to retouch it or reapply it, which is really hard for me because I'm oily as all hell. Um, so I want to do that, and I also want to do a video on my new hair and how I style it with my extensions because as you know like you guys can probably go back into my other videos and notice that my hair wasn't this dark especially on top so um I want to do a video on that if you guys have any requests for certain videos um I would love to do them um sorry if I look tired or if I like sound gross I'm trying to get over the sickness just like ooh, it sucks I hope you guys are having a great Sunday as well and I don't think I have anything else to say besides I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.